In this video, I'll show you how you can use Notion Forms and a single public Notion page to manage all of your student homework and assignments. Every teacher has their own preference when it comes to collecting student assignments, whether it be through physical hand-ins, emails, or even Google Classroom. But a stack of paperwork and a full, unorganized inbox can be a bit of a headache while Google Classroom requires students to take extra steps by creating an account with their email. So let me show you how Notion can easily be used for collecting homework, assignments, and and classwork submissions. Okay, to start, let's first take a look at what the students will see. So this is the student portal, and this is what you would share with your students. If you've used Google Classroom before, this will look really familiar, especially the classwork section of Google Classroom. Okay, on our student portal here, we have an example assignment, which in this example is called Creative Writing based on the book, The Door. We can see that it is an assignment and it is due August 8th. So we can click into the assignment here. If we click on the assignment, we can then see a more detail here. The teacher can add any assignment details, submission instructions, a checklist, any helpful resources that the students might need in order to complete the assignment. And then at the very bottom, we have the Notion form. And so this is where students can submit their assignment files. So they can submit anything from a PDF, a doc, Word doc, pictures, anything that you require from your students. Also, unlike Google Classroom, students can submit files whenever they like through this form without any email sign up. Like getting students to do anything is already hard enough. So this reduces kind of some of the friction. So let's now submit something to this form so we can kind of show how this works. So the first thing here is the assignment. If you click here, you'll see all of the assignments that are available to the student. So for this one, like we said earlier, this is the creative writing prompt based upon the door. So we're going to select that. Then we can type in our name. I'm going to type in Milo. And then we can upload our files. So I'm going to find my file, upload the door PDF. And then we can type in any additional notes that we need to give to the teacher in this case. Then we will click on submit. Now the student's file will be sent to you in the homework tracker backend. Okay, now that our assignment has been submitted, let's take a look at what's going on the teacher's side. Here we have the home page of the homework tracker. So we have three main pages in this assignment and homework tracker. We have the assignments page, submissions, and then the student portal, which we just saw. Let's click into assignments here. Okay, on the assignments page, we have a database for assignments. Here we can create the assignments that the students will see on the student portal. So if we click on our example here, our creative writing prompt, we can see all of the instructions. And then at the bottom, we see the submission form. And so this is where you can edit all of the submission details that the students will then see on the student portal. Once an assignment is finished, we can then change the status to finished and it will be removed from the student portal. We can also see that the our assignment has been removed from this all tab and has now appeared in this finish tab here. Also, something to note with this status property, only assignments with the status assigned here will show up on the student portal. So if any of your assignments are set to not assigned or finished, they will not show up on the student portal that we just saw here. Whenever you do need to assign some kind of classwork, whether it be a homework or assignment, quiz, test, survey, whatever, you can create a new page here just by clicking on new page. You can then select the type, assignment, give it a due date, then you can open up the assignment and add in any information that you need here. You can add in your instructions at the top. You can embed a video, upload a file, add in some kind of web resource, and then the submission form is created at the bottom here. Then once your assignment is done, you can then set the status to assigned, and then the students are able to see it on the student portal. Okay, let's now take a look at the submissions page. So the submissions database is really important. This is the Notion form that students use to submit submit their classwork. So to have the form work properly, we must first do one thing. We need to set this form to public. So to do this, we'll need to click on either this button here. We can click on change. And then we go to who can fill this out. You need to select anyone 
on the web with this link. Before, when you duplicate the template, it'll default to anyone in your own workspace like so, but you need to come, in, come over here and click on change and then click on anyone on the web with this link. And so this will make this form public and allow any of your students to submit files through this form. Okay, once you have done that, we can then take a look at these two other tabs here. So at the top here, if we click on all, we can now see all of the submitted work that students have submitted through the form. So we can see here we have our Milo students submitting the door PDF that we submitted earlier in this video. Uh, we can click on the file upload and it will bring up our students submission, which we can take a look. We can then evaluate and then give it a grade. Once we are finished checking the students submission, we can go to this checkbox here and click check. Clicking these checkboxes will remove these assignments from view and put them into the checked tab here. And that's all we really have to do for submissions. I mean, depending on how many students you will have, you'll have a ton of submissions here or just a few if you have a few students, but you can take your time going through them, looking at their submission and then clicking on the checkbox when you have fully check their submission. Okay, finally, we have the student portal. And so this is the page you will share with your students. So before we get started, we have a checklist here, which we need to follow for this page to work properly. So the first thing we need to do is to make this page public. So to make this page public, we go to the top here and we click on share. We then come over to publish and we click on the blue button publish. Publishing this page will make this page visible to everyone, including all of the databases that are native on this page. So once we have made this page public, one extra thing we can do is to turn off this duplicate as template option. You don't really need your students to be duplicating this Notion page anyway. And one additional thing we could do if you do have a Plus account, I'm not on my main account right now for this demonstration. If you do have a Plus account, you can create a custom URL to something like your school name or your classroom name or something that your students will easily recognize. And then you can give this URL to your students. To give this URL, easily to your students, you can just click on this copy here and then you can, well, give this long URL string to your students or you could turn it into like a bit.ly link, something shortened or even a QR code uh, if you use a link to QR code maker. Once you have made this page public and you have turned off the duplicate as template function, the next thing you need to make sure you have done is to have made the submission form public. We showed how to do this earlier, but you need to come to the submission form here under submissions, click on form, then you click on change, who can fill out and then select anyone on the web with this link. After you have done this, we'll come back to the student portal. That is the only thing you need to do to get set up using this homework tracker. The last thing we can do though, is to delete this call out box because we don't really need students to see this. Okay. And that's it. Then all you would need to do is to just share this URL here with your students and then add your assignments as needed and let your students know that you have an assignment due. So let's go through this one last time quickly from the beginning. So the first page is the assignments page. You would create a new assignment here, adding all of your information to the assignment page. You give it a type, a due date, and then you select to assigned. Then over in submissions, you need to make sure that this form has been made public to everyone by clicking on the settings here. Once you have done that, you need to come over to the student portal and make this public by clicking on the share button, clicking on publish, removing duplicate as template, and then sharing the URL with your students. Then students can come to your student portal, check the assignment, submit, any files that you need, then you can check them once they are sent to you on the submissions page under the all tab here. And that's how you can use the homework tracker for collecting classwork, assignments, 
and homework. If you'd like a free copy of the template I showed in this video, go and click the link in the description down below. But if you're looking for a more comprehensive education management system in Notion, check out the Ultimate Teacher Planner, also in the description.